Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now it has been over a month since I've gotten a software update on my car. But now we are on 2020.32.3 and let's see what's what in terms of autopilot behavior. Now, as usual, we are going to start with that hill crest first. So again, at the top, I don't expect much to happen, but uh, going down, the middle lane marking is disappearing. And uh, yeah, let's see what this update does with that. So coming at the top, going that straight, no problem whatsoever. Now here the lane markings disappear. Yep, once more a slight deviation towards the center as it starts to think that the lane is bigger than it actually is. But nothing to be too concerned about. Now something I've been noticing on uh, this road in the past couple of trips that I've done is that at a certain point which we're coming up to the car will actually start to slow down on autopilot for I don't know which reason but it suddenly does like here suddenly it is restricted to 15 kilometers an hour and then it accelerates again and there is no street on the side that it can mix the information with so this is wrong information in the speed database and Tesla, please give us speed sign reading because this is the single most important thing that is missing on all cars. All right, the infamous S-curve. Let's see what this update brings us. Will it slow down before the S-curve or will it regress again? It's not slowing down, it's not slowing down, it's not slowing down and going over the line, oh my God. Okay, let's see if we can do the second part here. It's going to the outside, inside, outside, a little bit, yeah. And again, yeah, no, it's definitely a lot worse than what it was in the previous update. So Tesla, you have a big bug to fix here. All right, let's see for entering the highway okay needed to give a little throttle there yep yeah, and it is again signaling automatically without me touching the indicator I don't know why this is does the car still think that I'm on the on-ramp for some reason while I'm already in that first lane I don't know but this is a very consistent error and uh, Tesla if you guys are looking at this um, use the footage and try to figure out what goes wrong here right coming up on the first exit test now I am behind a couple of trucks in front of me so I can't do the uh, 120 kph which I would love to do in this situation but it is rather busy at the moment. So let's see if it will take both exits here. So the first one. Yep, oh, a little bit jerky. Hugging the line, going to the left again, going to the right again. So this is still something that hasn't been fixed either, uh, which is the wobbly thing when uh, taking an exit should be a lot smoother now here is the second exit will it still take it I see that navigate and autopilot is still active so that hasn't changed oh yeah it delays a little bit and then makes a little bit of a jerky movement and again that second correction to get it back into the proper lane alignment right let me see if we can replicate the overtaking of trucks in the wrong lane 
here. Nope, that car is driving too slow, so that probably won't work, but I can try. So here we go, want to merge. Yeah, it already showed in the wrong lane, and again, it jerks me into the left lane again before uh, trying again. So that is also something that Tesla urgently needs to fix. Now what about moving to the side for trucks? Yep, it is going to the side. Will it stay there? No, just a slight moving back. And then, oh yeah, so the moving to the side. Whoa, what the hell? And I don't know what was going on, but without warning, suddenly auto steer aborted. Wow, and uh, yeah, it slowed down really hard at that point. But what I was about to say is that the moving to the side for trucks, that's one thing, and that is rather gradual. But the problem is that when it moves back to the center, that is more abrupt, and that should change as well. Now let's see if it will still take the double exit here. So I'm going at a fair speed right now. Not full speed, but still enough. Yeah, whoa, that was a jerky movement. And now it continues on the left side. What are you going to do? Hello, hello, okay. <laughs> wow, that was really just steering at the very last moment. Uh, not good, that used to be a lot better. Now in previous updates, it was kind of similar, but man, I wouldn't trust it there to take the exit as it is supposed to. Now let's see what the car will do here. Will it go to the side? No. It will not take that second exit. And in the meantime, because it hesitated, there was a car behind me already taking that exit. And that means that it uh, yeah, refused to take the exit probably because of the gap for the lane change being too small. And as you all know, we have the lane shift coming up now. Now it's always a bit tricky to get that one right because, well, you have a traffic light just in front of it and I have to get lucky that there's not a bunch of cars standing there and you get a green light. But we'll see. What is it going to be today? Well, it's a green light and the cars are moving. So I guess we're lucky as long as it's not turning red. Yeah. Oh, that flicker in uh, of the car behind me, that's new. Okay, let's accelerate. Come on, autopilot. Yes, and what will you do? Yep, that's still normal and uh, more than comfortable for taking that particular uh, section on autopilot. But that flicker of the car behind me, I've seen that a couple of times on the dash right now. Um, maybe it's because the car is a little bit too far and it's just appearing or not on the dash, I don't know but I've seen it a couple of times already. And then of course we conclude with the part where the lane markings are disappearing altogether. So they start out a little bit off to the side of the road. Come on, give me autopilot. Okay, here we go. Oh, it immediately hunts for the center of the road, going back a little bit. Now what will it do? It doesn't know what to do and it's going to the right side of the road again so even though it was really jittery now slowing down for yeah this intersection um, so it was really jittery 
to get it back to the side of the road. At least it was going back to the side of the road, whereas in the previous update, it went all the way to the wrong side of the road. Okay, so time again for another conclusion. And what do I think about this specific update? I think it's a bad one, right? There are too many regression bugs in here and too many issues that are popping up. And uh, yeah, let me start first with the S-curve, which has gotten worse again. So it's not slowing down again or anymore before going into the turn. So that's a really bad point because that was good for the last four or five updates, I think. Then uh, the exit taking. Well, the first one was kind of okay, but it was still a little bit too much going left right when exiting. But on the second uh, attempt or the second exit that I took, it was going straight on until the very last moment and then uh, jerked me to the right into the exit and the second part of the exit, it was not taking it automatically. Now that could have had something to do with the fact that there was a car behind me and that car was moving quite rapidly into that exit lane while my car was waiting, uh, which we saw with the two exits as well. So as soon as the exit opens up, it doesn't go onto the exit. It waits for 20 meters or something like that before it actually goes. Also, that used to be a little bit better. Um, then of course, the whole problem with uh, changing lanes while there's a truck two lanes over, that is still something that Tesla apparently can't get fixed. And I've tested it with multiple cars with hardware tree as well and it is the same issue so uh, tesla this is something that you need to fix as well and then yeah all of a sudden autopilot just aborted in the middle of the highway i mean we are going to talk about level 3 autonomy and not needing to pay attention to the road anymore uh, that's the legislation that is going to be on the table uh, at the end of September for the UN ECE meeting. But uh, the way things are going right now, I don't think Tesla is ready to be at that level, unfortunately. Maybe with the next update, I don't know how Autopilot 3.0 is reacting with the current update. Maybe that's a little bit better, but I'm so much looking forward to the entire rewrite of Autopilot with a lot of hope that a lot of these issues will automatically be resolved. So for the final thing, um, that section where it loses the lane markings altogether, it's a little bit better in the sense that it is going eventually to the right side of the road, but unfortunately it is uh, first of all going to the left side, then ping-ponging a little bit before going to the proper side of that road. So for me, yeah, this is a bad update and uh, the previous one that I had was 2020.24.6, uh, I believe. Uh, that one was uh, quite a bit better than what we have now. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention the uh, suddenly reducing the speed to 50 kilometers an hour. So there are some issues and errors in the GPS database. I've tried it multiple times in that same location. So that specific location is definitely marked wrong. And uh, probably there will be some other locations as well. So there's some work to do to get this fixed, but hopefully in the next update that will all be fixed. And uh, yeah, you can be sure that I'll be testing that next update as well, of course. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.